Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nabil here, and yes, we have confirmation. We kind of knew it because those uh, silhouettes that SNK revealed a few days ago were pretty telling, but yes, it's official. Vice and Mature are coming to the King of Fighters 15 as a special DLC. What does that mean? Well, we're going to get into that in a second, but we're also going to recap the SNK developer panel that took place yesterday at EVO 2024 uh, and it is within this event that they announced uh, or revealed Vice and Mature but a uh, part of it or a huge part of that event was also about City of the Wall so we're gonna recap all that and then we're gonna talk about Vice and Mature and what it means for the future of the King of Fighters 15 but we, before we do that a gentle reminder as usual leave a like subscribe if you have not done so press in that like button tremendously helps the channel all right let's get to it so the developers channel took place yesterday and it was moderated by hell pocket we had the konya son the director of fair Fury city of the wolves we had joshua weatherford uh developer uh, at snk also uh known for developing also known for working on many other snk games including samurai showdown and an upcoming samurai showdown RPG, as well as the current Fate of Fury City of the Wolves, and the legendary Soe Soe, Soeda san, who has been with SNK and worked on Fate of Fury since the very first game, Fate of Fury 1, and his uh, an artist for City of the Wolves. Uh, we did not get, let's just, you know, get that out of the way, we did not get any reveal uh, yet when it comes to City of the Wolves, so I am guessing they're going to be keeping uh, the announcement of new characters, which it's a pretty much a given we're gonna get some uh at least one i think they're leaving that at the uh until today after the grand finals of uh, the king of fighters 15 taking place as i said today in las vegas evo 2024 uh, but we did learn a lot of cool stuff about the game uh they did get a little bit deep into the design of the new characters including uh preacher and of course vox reaper and they talked about something that a lot of us uh fair few fans were talking about is the character of Quan Conta, which was the original uh, Joe Higashi disciple in from the cancelled Garo Mark of the Wolves 2, and how a lot of us thought it was going to be her in this time around, but then we got Preacher. So they did explain that they initially thought about Quan, uh, and then they moved and you know wanted to have the scientist character uh, as Joe's disciple, but they said that Quan is still canon, and uh, they, it's she's actually friends with um you know like lore wise it, they did talk a little bit about lore that she is friends with uh the other disciple which is preacher we also got to see early designs of preacher some of them ranging from being like truly scientists to to very close to quan conta uh, and as you can see i mean again pretty cool designs uh especially like this one a lot this this looks really amazing but the final design is also great and again as someone who didn't uh, like Preach in the beginning after I played the character for a while, she really grew up on me and I really, really like her. Looking forward to playing her more. They also talked about Vox Reaper and how they, you know, they wanted to create this, you know, evil looking character and how they used um, American comics as an influence to come up with the design of the character. And unlike Preacher, he did not go through many different designs. They pretty much had an idea uh, how they want Vox to look and they kind of uh, did stick with that and the final design is pretty awesome uh really 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 cool stuff uh they also talk a little bit about uh you know like the design of the game in terms of uh gameplay and why they went with the rev system and how uh you know they were actually uh, uh thinking about the wild ambition heat system that was the kind of like the basis of the rev system which is a cool system and the ill-fated Fatal Fury Wild Ambition that came out on the Hyper Neo Geo 64 and then got a uh, home release on the PlayStation. If you want to know more about that, check the complete history of Fatal Fury documentary. Pretty long, two hours long, uh, very extensive documentary if you want to get ready and learn everything there is about Fatal Fury. And then they switched and talked about... So as I said, there was no reveal, no announcement about City of the Wolves. As I said, it's probably going to get some today. Then they switched to the King of Fighters 15 and they revealed the identity of the silhouette characters. And it's indeed Vice and Mature. And they're calling this... They're clearly not calling this Season 3. So I'm guessing we're only going to get these two characters. I think this is... This is probably looking like the final DLC for the King of Fighters 15. This is not a season per se. And it's only these two characters who are going to be released 
uh, down the line and actually they, they revealed the window which is going to be December 2024 and both characters both Vice and Mature are going to be released at the same time they kept talking about a new gameplay system new gameplay mechanics for her uh, Soe Soe or Soe the Sun um, his, his, his Twitter username is Soe Soe that's why I call him that Soe the Sun talked a little bit about this new uh, new mechanics for Vice and Mature I'm not sure what that means but they're going to be released. Both characters are going to be available at the same time. They showed the designs and I'm pretty happy that they went with the original, the King of Fighters 96 design with the, it just looks amazing, which is also the same for 98, obviously. And the, uh, you know, like the subsequent uh, sequels, including 20, uh, 2002. But uh, yeah, they, they, they look like the design looked amazing. They kept talking about how now you have the original Yagami team with Iori and, um, and vice and mature not all which they kind of did hint that we're probably getting like a special ending with these three characters they talked about how rugal is in there so we have these other three characters like iconic trio of rugal vice and mature who both were uh his uh secretaries in 94 95 respectively and they also talked about how now we have the entire hakeshu the uh you know like the hakeshu members uh of the king of fighters lore which are the uh eight uh, what they call the eight heads of Orochi, of the serpent Orochi, and of course, we're talking about Chris, Yashiro, Shermi, um, Genids, uh, Yamazaki, and now Vice and Mature. We're missing one, obviously, and they mentioned him, and that's Guy Dell, who is Leona's real father and was uh, murdered by Genids. Again, getting too much into the lore if you really want to know the lore of the King of Fighters, check out the complete lore of King of Fighters. A video that I've done a few months ago, which is comprehensive from 94 up to 15. So that's pretty much what we got today. Again, confirmation Vice and Mature are coming, releasing in December. And from the looks of it, from the sounds of it, they wanted to, you know, add this to fan favorite characters to just, you know, get more hype into the game, uh, give the game a uh, second, you know, more life into it. The game is still fantastic. And if you've seen any of the matches that, that took place at EVO, the game is really, really hyped. Uh, but it's not a season three as um, uh, many people thought. This is clearly like a special kind of DLC. Probably the only two characters we're gonna get for the uh, for the remaining of the King of Fighters 15's life. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited about Vice and Mature? What do you think about what was revealed regarding City of the Walls in terms of the early designs for Preacher and Vox? Uh, as well as the gameplay uh, mechanics that they're going with. So let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.